Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name's Karina. Welcome to another Horror Nights vlog because one, if you can hear the minions in the background, that is my phone text message tone. Um, I've had it as minions forever. But this is another Horror Nights vlog. So we are going to Orlando Horror Nights. I come do this every single year with a bunch of my friends from college that still live here or come in town for it. So super, super excited. I just got ready. I'm wearing this little tank top. It says wish me luck. It's from Shein. I can link it down below in the description. Um, I actually bought a Halloween Horror Nights crop top baby tee from the same company that did my mystery mobile shirt. That is a huge hit and I got it stolen from my package room before I came here. So now I just have to wear a regular top. I will buy merch while I'm there. And then I just have jeans on with it. But we are about to pregame a little bit with some of my friends that work downtown Orlando. And then we are going to head out. This is that full fit in the mirror. Please excuse Oliver running by. But it is just jeans. Um, I would wear shorts. I'm kind of debating if I'm going to change into shorts still because it's just really, really hot and humid in Florida as always, but especially during hurricane season. So I feel like I'm probably just gonna wear these jeans, this tank top, and then some sneakers. Another year of Jeff thinking he's faster than these. Yeah! <laughs> oh, the fears are you willing to face? Go. Got our drinks. Burns me. <laughs> Jeff. Saba. <laughs> Saba. <laughs> Thoughts before going into the Insidious house, Jeff? It's gonna be a little bit boring. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll stay in the front, take one for the team. Some of you guys are gonna be a little bit scared, but uh, overall, scared level, three out of ten. Thoughts before going into the Insidious house? I'll be okay. I'm concerned about Jeff. Yeah, you're brave as fuck. Thoughts before going into Insidious? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I know what's gonna happen, but I'm still looking, still looking good. Okay, well I'm scared, and no one else wanted to say it. Ain't no one scared, dog. Ain't no one scared. He's gonna come out crying, screaming, throwing up. Honestly, yeah, watch. Stop. Stop. Crying, Stop. screaming, throwing up. I'm betting money right now. Oh, well, you about to be in it. Well, it might not be scared. <laughs> Jeff, your thoughts? So from a 3 out of 10 to a 1 out of 10. What right. Shit? Right. Britt? Yeah, it's every single time he jumped, though, for me. Thoughts? Thoughts? <laughs> they got me once or twice. No, okay. Once or twice. Once or twice. That's it. The red curtain room, scariest. I feel like the Hollywood one is scarier, but maybe we were just off on timing. I don't know. Definitely too close to people in front of us. And too close to the people in front of us. So, I thought it would have been scarier. What? Um, we can do it a little bit later. Anything else? Um, I'm gonna do a McUltra. Anything 
<laughs> oh, here's the little thing. Oh, yeah, we'll have to get him later. The little s'more puff. What is that? He's from Ghostbusters. Please, gone. Oh, now it's Facebook. Look, it's physics. <laughs> so when you when you pour it all in, right, and it goes, Bro, where does all, all that milk go? Hey, gravity, gravity. Look at me, buddy. Gravity. All right. <laughs> So all that's gonna go, that's gonna evaporate into the sand clouds. Not the sand clouds, the water clouds. Hold on, there's the water clouds. The water clouds, the water clouds. So all that just goes, you know, I'm just the sand clouds. The view. Right, so on video what? Let me, I'm gonna cook him a 4K. All right, so like, hey, this is Jeff here with, what's that one? This is Jeff here with Bill Nye's uh, science class. <laughs> now you're about to ask for his name. It's the same. Uh, this is Jeff guy tonight, uh, the, no, Jeff. All right, Bill Nye. Jeff struggling Nye's, with it. Yeah, sorry, I'm gonna get on with it. All right, that. spit it out. Sure not, dude. Alright, so I'm trying to explain to him. When you pour a beer fully into it, you let all the foam come out, right? <laughs> There's gonna be this thing called a little bit of chemistry, a little bit of physics, right? Right. That's all gonna go. Just this little all thing called out. a little bit of chemistry and a little bit of physics. <laughs> Am I not right? Yeah, you don't have to explain it. Just keep saying it's a little bit of physics. Hey, but Jester never I already hit it once. I mean, yeah, Jester but never, science. never gives away the science, just trust it. What side are you on, Freedom? Don't. I'm actually just recording. <laughs> you, can't, you, can't explain your, you can't explain your position. All right, whoever finishes second is wrong. Wait, hold on. <laughs> what a cheater. <laughs> Damn, are we at DU or what? Yeah. It was that one dude where I screamed my ass off and then that little bitch came from the side. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. That Jeff was brought like, oh. a piece of the house. That shit part of me now, baby. This shit coming with us. This is a souvenir. Fuck you, man. That shit was so me, I saw you got scared once yeah, or twice. Yeah, you got scared. Hey, yeah, yeah. Don't know. Like, they got twice. They got twice. They got my ass. They got my ass one. No, no, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was See, and thank you guys for making me hey, be hey, in the front. Hey, hey, uh, 7 out of 10 right there. That was scary. That was scary. That was scary. I like that one. See, look, we came out of the same area last year. Ah, so that, that, that was, that's the one. That house is always the one, one that gets the fuck out of you. Fuck, that shit was scary as hell. All right, let's pee, man. Let's go pee, Let's go pee, man. They made me get in front, and I didn't get as scared. What did you just order for us? I got four shots of Tito's straight up, and we all took them except for Jeff. Hold on. To defend my case, we got three shots of Tito's. Karina got a... I got Thank you. I got whatever I wanted. Anywho, anyways, I was asking the question anyway. Like, no, she did not. Well, you and your blue lagoon over there, Miss SpongeBob. We're in a fucking pineapple. No, we're in the minions. In the banana. Never seen minions. All right. Well, that's rude. Anyways, take that Tito's. The Tito's was a crazy move. Ooh. Ooh. I think I'm in pain. It's fine, man. Right. <laughs> what? Sam, the oh, lighting is mad here. good here. I can't say what I want to say. I can't say what I want to say. But you know what I want to say. So cut the video. Cut the video. Okay, thoughts before a quiet place. Uh, you know what? Last one was a little Don't bit Don't even great. try to act tough. Expectations are high. We're going way higher than the three. We're going, uh... We're going Anything seven and a half. Else? Okay. Top of the day. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Matthew? Seven and a half, I feel like it's low. I'm going to go eight. Okay. I'm going to go eight. Britt? That's high. I'm going to go three out of ten. Okay. This girl is telling us to turn off her ears, but... Judging off the Hollywood house, I'm gonna say eight. Eight? No, seven, actually. I'm being too generous. Seven. Seven is high? All right, then six. Six. You're going first. Oh, right. Oh, I led that house and I was very, very brave. Jeff got scared. Scared as shit. I get scared for shit. Hello, I got scared for 
I don't know what that thing was. It wasn't an animal. It wasn't a human. I don't know what that shit. That was like a, a, a demogorgon for Stranger Things, but like on steroids, you know? Right. Britt, what'd you think? What happened? It wasn't scary. It wasn't scary. It wasn't scary. All right. And Matthew? Stop. Stop. What'd you Not think Not scary. We got right. hard asses over here. <laughs> and like I said, just reiterating that I led that one. And I was a brave girl. I was a brave girl. They forced it into me. I didn't even have Brittany next to me. And they forced me to lead. And I was a brave girl. He is coming to us. Sorry. <laughs> about that one guys Jeff was getting scared he got the one-two punch no, right in front no, of me it's, it's, it's the theme of it it's the theme no, of the one-two punch it's me turning around and waiting for you to be scared Stop. Stop. that one gave happy death day energy but it was kind of fun not really scary I got Jeff to get the scares in front of me it was one time uh, it, was it was the one-two one punch one <laughs> this one wants to act mad brave not happening I look rough. We did Slaughter Cinema 2. That one really scared this one. Slaughter no, Cinema 2? Ain't no one scared. Get this shit out of here. Slaughter Cinema 2, this one was scared. Hey, uh, I would say like a scare level, like a 585 out of 1,000. 500. That's a crazy That's a number. Then we just did Goblin's Feast. That one wasn't scary really at all. Let's we kind of flew. Let's ask Jeff when he jumped out of his Oh seat. yes, he did get, he gets that one two every time. No, stop it, stop, stop. stop. <laughs> they hit him with the one two every time. He gets distracted off the first one and then he's not ready for the second one when he turns his neck and it's right there in his face. Stop. So, the one two gets That's the him. old me. That's the old me. Watch out for this house. Stay tuned. Yeah. Right. Hey, right now, we're in line for Eternal Bloodlines. They're both like tucked away in this corner. Not one of the Eternal Bloodlines, but the new jet. Right. That's why I hate Orlando, man. Right. That's why I hate Orlando. Yep. They do have fans out here, which is new. That's a big Orlando problem. Definitely new, but. We're about to get internal bloodlines, and that'll be our seventh out of the ten houses here. Turn this wrong. Watch. 
In about five minutes, we'll have a new vlog. And this he also says the word vlog, which is crazy. A new vlog in about uh, five minutes when we all come back together and be like, oh shit, that wasn't that scary. Mark my words. So when we're like, it's not scary. Right. right. C cutting, cutting the cameras now. What'd you say? That was the worst one? No, no, no. No, Get the fuck out of there. That was You're running tracks in my back. Get out for me. <laughs> it's Jeff scurrying to the front for me. What? Jeff was behind Britt and I and literally could not take it anymore to the point that he had to get in front of us. This is what I scared me. He got the one, two, three on this one, honestly. Right. Right. Anywho, we just got seven out of the ten houses done now. So. We're going to Mummy. Or it's just not scared. You said you were scared a little bit from Mummy earlier. No one's scared. Right. That was both sides. That was fucked up. Right. So we're gonna go on mummy and then hit the gift shop and if we have time maybe another house to close out the night but for now we just did seven out of the ten so we made pretty good time especially because we kind of like messed around for a long time in between so shit you dumbass that shit was scary It's a store. Oh, I Okay, so it is the next day. Um, last night, we ended up doing Slaughter Cinema 2, and that one, we probably got scared the most. I think that was a really good house, and I love that house, like, historically every time they've done it. So, very much recommend that one. That's probably one of my top ones. And then we also did Goblin's Feast and Eternal Bloodlines. I will say their Eternal Bloodlines is way better here than... Unfortunately, the way our girls got done dirty in the Hollywood location house. So I was a little skeptical going into that one as like being one of our final houses of the night. And then we finished off our final final house was Ghostbusters. I think our Ghostbusters in Hollywood is better than the Ghostbusters here. But I do feel like the Ghostbusters here was longer. So there was that difference. It most definitely was not scary. And the Hollywood one did add much more scare actors from the last time I went. So Ghostbusters in Hollywood does beat the Ghostbusters in Orlando, that's for sure. But we did eight out of the 10 houses. Only houses we had left were Major Sweets Candy Factory. And honestly, I know there's like a throw up scene in there and I just know I wouldn't be able to do it. It would actually take me out. So I kind of made us skip that one. And then the other last one we had was Museum of Deadly Exhibits, which Neither here nor there, not really upset about missing it, so that one's fine, but we got a lot done. We got there at 7, left at close, and we even did Mummy. We definitely were turned, we were doing a bar stop after every other house, so 
you can definitely get everything done without an express pass we just like wasted a lot of time in between and still somehow got eight out of the ten houses done i got a merch shirt that had the houses line up i didn't really love the merchants this year that they had in orlando and i thought they'd have more different stuff in orlando than hollywood had and they didn't so i just got a shirt from here that has the house line up because the house lineup is different but overall 10 out of 10 night honestly my favorite what was my favorite I want to say Slaughter Cinema was probably my favorite. Yeah, and I got the background crowd agreeing that Slaughter Cinema was their favorite as well. And then, I mean, I think Ghostbusters had really good set design, but it was just not scary, and that was disappointing. And then trying to think of what other ones we really liked. Brittany, do you remember Sorry. one that stuck out to you in your mind? Insidious is my favorite. Which one? Insidious. Okay, so Brittany liked Insidious the best. I... I think we cinema. Taylor thinks slaughter cinema. I think somehow, some way, even though on Twitter everyone was literally crying, screaming, physically throwing up coming out of the insidious house here in Orlando, I think we just got a bad run through or something because it just like did not feel scarier than the Hollywood one. I don't I don't know why. I think we just got a bad run through or we were just too close to the people in front of us and they were just shuffling us in too fast. I don't know what it was, but I just think Insidious was scarier in Hollywood, which is kind of crazy. I was never expecting to say that. And we started off strong with Insidious, so a little bit disappointing. But I'm probably not going to vlog for the rest of this weekend that much. It might be random clips. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Click that subscribe button down below. Let me know what your favorite house has been at Halloween Horror Nights, whether it's in Hollywood or Orlando. And we will resume back to the spooky content throughout the month of October. So, love you guys. See you in the next video.